praise the Lord. Do you feel that at times you are bombarded with so many thoughts that at times you are getting severe headaches? At times you are unable to concentrate and focus. And at times you really feel that you are forgetting everything and at times you feel low of energy. If all this is happening to you, I am sure this video is going to help you. We all want God's peace, His divine peace. And for this peace, what all we are doing? But let's focus on these three things that we are supposed to do. The first and the very important thing that is pray. Our personal prayer is the most important thing that we are supposed to do because when we do our personal prayer, that is the time we receive God's peace. Yes, we pour out our hearts to God and as we are pouring our heart out to God, we receive God's peace. So if you are not doing your personal prayer, maybe you are not experiencing God's peace. Imagine you are not talking to that one best friend of yours whom you share everything, all that is happening around. How restless you will feel at times. Similarly, you have to speak to God as well. Because when you share and pour out your heart to God, that is the time God will comfort you and give you His peace. John chapter 16 verse 33, the Lord says, I have said this to you, so that in me you may have peace. In the world you face persecution, but take courage, I have conquered the world. Your the Lord says that in the world you will have stress, you will have persecution, but take courage, I have conquered the world and in me you will have peace. So when we pray, we get the grace and once we receive the grace, we are able to do things which we are not able to do otherwise. So the second point is forgive. Unless we forgive, we will not be able to receive God's peace. And that is what the word of God tells us in Mark chapter 11 verse 25. Whenever you stand praying, forgive if you have anything against anyone so that your father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. So whenever you stand praying, that is every time you want to pray, you are asked to forgive. And why forgiveness? Forgiveness will give us peace. The more forgiveness we will give, the more peace we will receive. That is how God has wired us. That is how God has made us. I want to share my personal experience. As I was sitting in my prayer time once, I really had a lot of hurt against a person. I wasn't able to forgive that person completely from my heart. And I was praying and the Lord asked me, Do you love me? I said, Yes, Lord, I love you. Then the Lord said, If you love me, you will obey my commandments. And that was enough for me to know that I need to let go of this hurt. I need to let go of this wound. I need to still love this person, forgive this person from my heart. And I can't do it unless God gives me the grace. That's the reason we need to pray, ask for the grace and then forgive. Once we forgive, we will 100% receive peace. And the third important point, the most important point after Obviously, all the points are important. And the third point is regarding social media. So, if you are constantly surfing the internet, on the mobile, talking to people, you are going to have a lot of stress. Again, I want to share my personal experience. This is how the Lord disciplines me. If I use my mobile to a limit, like I go beyond a limit, I, I get severe headaches. I need to stop it. That's how God disciplines me. I understand that I need to keep my mobile on check. So friends, we need to limit our social media usage because when we don't have certain things to think about, our mind will be at peace. Uh, when you are working and you have certain work time which you cannot avoid your screen time, that's fine. But after your work time, your personal usage, look at that. Reduce your screen time and as you reduce the screen time, you will experience God's peace. Definitely, 100%. I have experienced it. So basically, three things we need to do. We need to do our personal prayer. We need to forgive and we need to uh, also limit our social media usage. Once we do all these three things, we will experience God's peace. And 100% you will have 
God's divine peace flowing in your heart if you do all these three things and let God take charge over your life. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye.